baby time. Actually, by the time this episode airs, I might be in a hospital <laughs> holding the baby. I don't know. You keep talking to me the way you do this. You might be in a hospital <laughs> soon. <laughs> Let's talk Greg Olson. No. I equated I equated Greg Olson to the tight end version of Frank Gore. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he has taken care of himself. No, the question is, if Greg Olson was available this year, would that have been different than Greg Olson available last year, right? So Greg Olson being available now with the tight end room the way it is, how different of a need is he? compared to last year. I think if he was available last year, he would have been a free agent for a day. Buffalo would have signed him. End of story. Right? With the young tight end room that they had, they brought in Tyler Croft to do what... They brought in Tyler Croft to try and be that veteran presence. Same with Lee Smith. Right? They wanted a couple guys that they could depend on. I don't think Tyler Croft is a bill if Greg Olson is available last offseason. Because Greg Olson would do the job of Tyler Croft. I agree with that. Right. So now the question is, one, is Croft even necessary at this point? Two, does Croft uh, lose his job because Greg Olson's available? Or three, is Greg Olson no longer needed because you got your tight ends played? They all they all experienced their first NFL season. Why do that? Yeah, why do that again? Right. Why why bring in a tight end, albeit talented, albeit in the twilight of his career? Um, why bring him in to? To do something, I mean, he's got to learn the entire offense, right? Uh, although he does have familiarity, maybe he's a locker, a good locker room guy. Um, well, I mean, yeah, it's, I I heard nothing but wonderful things about Greg Olson. Like, I don't I don't want to say that I've heard anything bad. I've heard nothing but wonderful yeah. things about. Him. But yeah. with that being said, um, it does option number four didn't mention this. Does Lee Smith lose his roster spot to Greg Olson? Yes. Because Greg Olson is more, well, you would say, does Lee Smith lose his roster spot to, you know, spots the wonder dog? It's like, yes, he does. He would um, lose his, his spot to Nathan Peterman right now. Well, I feel like Olson is probably more of a guy who's going to step in and could assist in pass pro, could assist in, you know, run support. You're not asking him to go out there and, and, and get 70 targets. That's no, what the player is no, anymore. No, and no. I think Bills fans forget that, oh, well, he's a little older. Right, he's a 40-target guy. Like, maybe. That's where he is. I think he would um, – it, it's tough because the roles that you ask them to play are very different. Right. He's a better blocker than Croft. Right. But he's but he's a better receiver as well. Mm-hmm. He's not as good a blocker as Lee Smith, but he's – That's that's where his skill set. Right, yeah. yeah. Lee Smith allows you to go into uh, – you know, twenty-one personnel and like make it an unbalanced look, right? Because that's what he—that's what he does. Because he's a big dude. He's—he's he's huge. Yeah. Um. But Lee Smith and Frank Demarco bother me. Together. Pat Demarco. Pat Demarco. God, I do that all the time. Said Frank Demarco. Yeah. Who the hell is Frank Demarco? Um. That's when him and Gore are in the backfield. <laughs> Patrick Demarco and Lee Smith to me are—I—I I dislike them together because on most other teams, that's one player. Yeah. That's, right. that's uh, most. That's most that's, other teams. What the heck is that guy's name? Kyle from the 49ers? Mm-hmm. Kyle Giz- Giz- yeah, Giz- 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 Damn it. What was I going to look up? Greg Olson, DeMarco, Lee Smith, Santa Claus. I remember. You're looking up Lee Smith's stats, how many targets he got. I was looking up Lee Smith's stats to see how many targets he got. That's exactly what I was doing. Is it really? Yeah, that's exactly what You're I was welcome. doing. I think it's important to remember Lee Smith. 16 games. How many catches? Lee Smith, 16 games. How many catches? 10. Four. <laughs> How many touchdowns? Two. One. Oh, okay. You want that, don't you? What? You punch toast breakfast sandwich. Two for five? Tell me it doesn't look marvelous. You want to try it? I do. You Let's want, hit that French toast sandwich. You want two for five, too? <laughs> I'm eat too much. Yeah. This isn't... Oh. Oh, okay. Sure. Look at you so disappointed. You're like, do I eat it or do I tell him I only want one? No, we'll do it. <laughs> okay. 
I'm not a big proponent of of Greg Olson in Buffalo. I, I don't see the need for him. I mean, people can point to Tyler Croft and Lee Smith. Yeah, I mean, that's the bed you made, so you're going to lay in it. I don't think Greg Olson, you know, saves you from another season of Lee Smith or Tyler Croft. Yeah, I mean, you can... What's he going to cost, though? Uh, six. So you want to trade Smith and Croft, who are making more than that, right? Uh, combined. combined, yeah, yeah. Okay, so depending on the dead cap and the numbers surrounding it, if, it, if the numbers make sense, I'm, I'm not against it. Because you got a veteran presence that Knox could learn from, just like Singletary can learn from Gore. Hey, we get Sabres cards from Tim Hortons. I wonder if they come on fire just like the rest of the team. Do they light them on fire right before they hand them to you? To get rid of Lee Smith and uh, Tyler Croft, it's going to cost $2.1 million in salary cap hit. Okay, Tyler, Croft, Tyler Croft's making 6.6. Lee Smith is making 3.2. So 9, ten. They're 11. They're 10 together. Yeah. They're 10 together? They're 10 together. They're 11. You said six 9 point, and 2. 6.6, 3.2. 6. Okay, so yeah, they're, so, yeah, they're, they're 10, 10 together and 2 to cut. Right. So it's 12 million. N- no. No. 2 to cut is included in the 10 million. Christ. So to I get can't ri- be here. I'm not going to be here to hold your hand forever, Mario. <laughs> So to get rid of both of them is going to cost the Bills two million dollars. Right. Okay. So my point was that if you say you sign up for more than eight, it doesn't make sense. Right. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. That's what that's the ten meant. Yeah. That's true. Yes. Very true. Patrick Demarco is two point three. To but cut. Again, uh, no, for the year. Uh, Demarco is one point eight uh, five hundred thousand to cut. Peanuts. Right. Leave him on the team. Well, that's what I'm saying is Patrick Demarco and Lee Smith should be playing the same role. Like, that's, that's really – they should be playing the same role. They're not even the same size. No. Oh, very different size. You're talking about, like, let's just say, for example, if they want to go to a uh, <clears throat> one-back, one-tight end set. Mm-hmm. They go to a two-back, <clears throat> no-tight end set, but use – like, yeah. just use DeMarco as, like, you know, tag motion. You know, right. And just go over and seal the edge. Right. Uh, I guess it's a possibility. I mean, with the maturation of Knox and – um. It's weird though because you say that you think people would be comfortable with Gore not playing anymore because yeah. of the progression of Singletary. But people want Greg Olson here, yeah. even, even though Knox did progress. He right. had drops. He's going to have drops. Yeah. I'm not really worried about that. Right. You had a quarterback who. It's weird though because the people that get on top of Knox are the same ones that say Allen's not accurate. Right. But you can't have it both ways. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. So your final analysis, Paul, on the fact that you want if, – if Greg Olson is brought into the fold, do you think that DeMarco and or Lee Smith are gone? Yeah, I, I think Lee Smith – because I – yeah, that's where I'm landing on this one, right? Tyler Croft likely stays because you still need a, a, a tight end who can, who can support in pass protection run in the run game and still catch passes. Um, you know, Knox is still a little new to that. Sweeney's still a little new to that. Lee Smith is the guy that, you know – makes his way out if you're bringing in Olsen. But again, DeMarco and Lee Smith should be sharing a roster spot at this point. So, yeah, that's where I got to sit. How high do you go to sign him? I'm not signing for more than five, honestly. Two I'm for really ten? Not. A two-year deal for Greg Olsen? I'm just saying. That's what they usually like to sign. If it's a club well, option well, for I mean, second Well, I mean, Gore was one. So, I mean, yeah, I could, I could. One for four and a half. I would go. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in at five. I guess I usually start it too if, because that seems how not, Bean wants to do it. But that's the thing. I don't even want to sign Greg Olson because I, I don't think that helps. I, the pro, I mean, the perhaps it does, right? But the type of player that Olson was is not the same type of player that Knox is. It's a different brand of tight end in the NFL now, right? Well, These he was more of a receiving receiver. tight end. He is, yes, but Olson. Olsen and Witten were cut more from the same cloth than Knox and Olsen, right? So like, it's what, the type of tight end is just very different. Knox is not running your typical tight end routes. He's not. Neither was Olsen or Witten. I don't remember Olsen making receptions on I remember on Olsen flag running flag routes. The, I definitely remember him. In, in Chicago, he definitely did. Maybe not in Carolina. Okay. But in Chicago, that's, you know. that's likely where I'm drawing, where I'm not drawing that conclusion. I, I totally agree. The player that Greg Olson is right now is not the player that Dawson Knox oh, yeah. needs to be mentored by. However, Croft really wasn't doing much for him. Right. Because he wasn't there. 
Olsen could be a guy that, that, that gives him the finer points of the position. Uh, Are I you believe, really in on this? Well, I'm just saying. I'm oh, trying God. to argue. Yeah. I'm trying to give a valid reason why it would make sense. I don't want him either. But I'm just saying <laughs> it would make sense. So many people from Hashtag Nation are like, what do you, what, would you it both don't want him? Would what it, happened? Would a heavy hootie, I would rather, see, I'm more of the type of guy, though, like, let, throw him in the fire, let him learn. Yeah. Uh, if you have Olsen there, A, it's going to take snaps away. B, I don't know if the trade-off of information that he's going to pass on to Knox is worth right. sacrificing. 100% agree. 100% agree. Look at that, we agree on something. Never it must, happens, be the last, it happens a lot. it must be the last episode for a while. This is my going away present to you. 